Howdy folks, welcome to Coffee and Tools. <laughs> what I want to talk about today, we're going to test something out and uh, it's it's how loud your machinery is in your workshop. Uh, I keep a whole box of these uh, earplugs around and I've used quite a few of them and uh, try to reuse them a little bit so I don't go through the whole box real quick. But some of the equipment around I have, like the table saws and the planer and things, they're, they're pretty loud. So is my tractor. Mm. The thing is, uh, the wife is probably the loudest, but let's not go there. I'm dead meat. Cool. Anyway, the <laughs> so what we're gonna, what I want to cover today is we're gonna run around and check all this machinery in here, the power saws and what have you. And there's an easy app you can put on a phone, a cell phone, such as this one here, and it's a dB uh, dB meter and it'll tell you how loud things are, and what the peak is, and all that sort of thing. So what I want to do is I'm going to uh, record the different sounds of my power tools and see who, who the winner is. Now, my best guess right now before we take readings, I'm thinking the DeWalt planer. That, that sucker's, I've always thought that thing was a little on the loud side. Or the compressor. It's one of the, it's a battle between I think those two. I don't see the table saws being that bad, but what I'm going to do is we'll do two runs with the table saw. First, I'll do a, a just run the table saw and take a, a dB reading, and then we'll cut a piece of wood on the table saw and take another dB reading, and you'll be able to watch and see how this goes, and we'll see, you know, who's the loudest of the bunch, but also throw a challenge out to other wood shows out there to see who's got the highest dB or the most screaming tool out there. I'm sure there's people out there with tools that are a lot more noise, you know, producing than what I have, but hey, let's start with uh, the table saw. Let's go over to the table saw and we'll take a dB reading and just see what it is. Are we ready? Yeah, fire in the hole. Peaked out at 111.2. Wow, that's high. Let's cut a piece of wood. So we'll just reset and just see what we've got. Okay, let's stop. Reset. Okay. Okay, w with cutting wood. Man, we're already loud. What's going on here? Hmm, okay. Program's a little sensitive, I think. I don't know. All right, let's go. Interesting. Cutting wood was actually quieter than when it was running without cutting. Wow. Whatever. Hey. I don't, I don't design these programs, but yeah. So let's go over to the uh, the big bad boy, the Dewalt. <laughs> oh man. Okay, this is where my money is, but let's find out. Wow, the table saw beat that at 111. Okay, wow. So I don't have any place to keep this, so I'm just gonna hand hold it while we, uh, we run the, the experiment. <laughs> okay, so we'll get started. And let her settle for a second here. You know, some of that is being picked up because my, my hand is moving around near the microphone. Okay, let's go. Wow. Okay. Uh, this is the Atachi compound saw. So let's see what let's see what we get on this one. Okay. Let's start start the program and settle down. About 108. You know, this is starting to indicate every power tool I get in here is uh, 
too loud. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're getting. Okay, let's go get place some with some more power tools here. This one here I forgot about, but it it does seem to be a loud tool. So we'll do two tests. I'm going to run this, and then I'm going to take it and put it on my hand because I have a feeling the vibration of the machine coming through is might be what the phone is picking up. So it doesn't seem like a fair test. So let's start. And we'll stop, recycle, and let's do it again, but this time, <clears throat> excuse me, this time I'm just going to do it handheld off the router, just see if there's a difference. As you can see, it's, it was still way up in the red zone, but it was only 105 max, so yeah, there you go. Wow, it was still just about pretty much as loud as if it was sitting there on the routing machine. Whew, I tell you, we got some loud tools in this shop. So let's try the, <clears throat> the <laughs> oscillating sanding machine. And again, I'm just going to hand hold it. Got a good view of that, and let's see how we do. One hundred three point three. Wow. And now for the king of machinery I've got in this shop here, the three hand and a half horse, two hundred and twenty volt, twelve inch radial arm saw from Sears. It hasn't been plugged in for a couple of years, so it might be a little noisy. Let's 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 see what kind of DB we can get off this bad boy. <laughs> okay, we're running, calming down. All right, here we go. All right, so just to keep things scientific, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna redo the table saw, because so far the table saw has beat everything, I, everything else I've got. And I'm thinking the vibration with this sitting on the table saw probably came up through in the microphone Reddit or something. So I'm going to do like a handheld over the table saw I just do a start stop on it and just see if we get a little bit lower DB reading for, for noise. Because I don't think the table saw is the noisiest clown in this shop here right now. I would think the, the radial arm saw should have been, I thought that would be, you know, pretty loud. Also the DeWalt, I thought that DeWalt planer uh, it seems to just scream when it's running. And yet it, it was, again, less than the table saw, uh, which, you know, like, okay, you know, I sort of expected that would be number one. Let's try the table saw. Okay, that's what I thought. All right. I was right. Up. Okay. Okay, so the test wasn't real scientific, but... It, we did get to see how loud things are. Technically, the experts say 70 dB or less is in that you know safe zone. Uh, this particular software that I got off of uh, for the Apple phone actually shows as 80 dB as being the red area of potential harm to your hearing. And of course, the other thing that they uh, mention is that they, it has to be, or should be under prolonged uh, experience to the sound. And they don't, well, I guess maybe there is no way to specify what prolonged is. You know, a few seconds, five minutes, an hour, you know, what is it? Wow, so the lesson today is every power tool I've got in here apparently hits the red zone for uh, hearing, so you should only put an earplug in every time you walk in the garage around here. Some of these tools, uh, the way that they're red and stuff, uh, I might have, you know, put the microphone maybe too close to the machine. Like I said, it's, this is not very scientific, but it really does show you uh, the power tools, and it is amazing. Uh, when you think about that 70, 80 dB threshold of, you know, doing damage to your hearing, and then you see all these power tools, and every one of them, let's face it, every one of them was 100 dB and higher, you know, plus. The... Surprise, I guess for me, was the uh, Craftsman 12-inch uh, radial arm saw. 
Yeah, the uh, ultimate reading off of that bad boy was up in the 115 dB range, which is like screaming like a jet engine. Of course, I cut the video short because I had to cover my ears and I had to get it shut down because it was just it was just too loud for the test even, even for the short duration. And like I said, pro prolonged exposure is what they consider to be possible risk of, of damage to your hearing. And uh, I can't say too much about that because of my uh, early years playing in rock bands when I was about 19 years old and exposing myself to you know unbelievable amounts of wattage, tall speaker, six foot tall speaker cabinet, 100 watt Marshall amp, standing in front of them, blasting away. And of course, uh, probably paying for it now with uh, my hearing is probably not that great. It's, it is what it is. But I just uh, thought this week would be fun to just take a look at the DB ratings or sound and see how loud are some of these tools around here. Uh, and I will be honest, I'm a little surprised. Uh, some of the tools I didn't think were that loud uh, smoked my butt. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like, oh man, that's, that's louder than I realized. So it, it's a handy tool. You can go online and find an app for your phone and put it in there as a DB sound meter and check yourself for you know some of your equipment and just see where you're at because you may want to get a box full of earplugs for the garage like I do. I'm not pushing, uh, I'm not sponsored or any, have anything to do with uh, Howard, well, hearing, whatever. Uh, you can pick up earplugs, let's face it, uh, anywhere. Uh, Harbor Freight I'm sure sells box fulls of them. And there's good quality ones and there's ones maybe we should shy away from. I don't know. I've, I've seen, you know, the military has gotten into some problems with earplugs. So that's, that's not a good sign. Anywho, hey, uh, this week coming up Thursday, we have the draw, of course. If you, have, if you haven't, you better check the previous episode because we have a draw coming up for a free tool. Oh, yeah. And I think we're going to stop there and, uh, and just say, wow, you know, Things are allowed in the shop. Meantime, hey, thanks for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, and hey, y'all, over, over and out.